good afternoon. This is Down and Dirty with the D, and I am sitting here with my co-host, Martel. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> okay, so today's show is sponsored by Down and Dirty LLC. I am feeling great. I have on red because that's one of my favorite colors. So, you know, I got to rep the Bulls today. Shout out to Chicago, Chi-Town, my mama's hometown. But uh, what's up, Martel? What we got going on? What you do this weekend? Oh. Tell, I'm, you know, I'm nosy. I need to know. Well, I had a blast. Give me details. I had, I had a real, what you do? I had a real blast, a real blast. I did something that I've never did in a long time. Oh, and what was that? I got a chance to ride with one of the biggest motorcycle uh, organizations in the United States. It's called Outcast, and they had their 50th anniversary this whole weekend. I got a chance to spend three days with them, and you talk about something fun. It was people all the way from every state riding their motorcycles and met up in one spot. Really? Yes. And what y'all do besides okay. uh, drink? Well, we... We got together and we, we barbecued. We, we went down to the marina right there on St. Jean off of Jefferson at the boat. Remember, we had the whole marina. So, the marina yes. off Jefferson? Yes, over, over St. Jean. Uh, over there by Belle Isle? Well, not too far. Not too far? Not too far. So we got a chance to, uh, everybody from different clubs was there. And um, it was, I have never been around, I would say about mm, three, I would say about two to 3,000 people with unity and harmony, with no bickering, no fighting. Really? Not one. Sometimes that's uh, hard to believe, but it's not uh, no, I was impossible. There. I was but with all them people, it's like... Not, a, not listen, let me tell you something. I was, there, I, I was there for three days. I partied for three days. You partied for three days three straight? Three straight days. Oh, I wish. I can't party for three days well, straight. Well, when you I'd have be the... exhausted. <laughs> 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 I got well, babies, and I, I'm just not really getting a break from my kids so it's like mm. whoo well well i, I should have came but yeah you should came. you had to listen put it like this here a lot of people have a, a lot of bad things to say about different motorcycle organizations but i can i can truly say this right here i got a chance to to be around some true brothers and sisters that i mean it's like they treat you like family and that's how that's how i was it was it was like a big a big family event a huge family event event well First, um, how I got there, I got a, a homeboy named Menace. He's a club mentor. So I'd like to say hi to Mrs. Menace and Mr. Menace. Thank you for allowing me to be able to uh, join you guys at that 50th anniversary of, of, your, of your club members. I really Aww. appreciate that. So that's, that's that means a lot to me. Oh, that's, that's, me, that's so. good. I'm happy that you're happy. Even though I was kind of out of place because they said I have a rice burner. Which is, which is called a crotch rocket. They have all, all the, um, the organization members have Harley Davidson, but there was a few rice burners on the side. But they kept them hid. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, I actually like uh, Harley Davidson's uh, motorcycles. I like, but I like crotch uh, rockets as well because they would ma remind me of Power Rangers. Mm. So it's like... Don't you have a bike yourself? Yes. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> and what is it? <laughs> A crotch rocket. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Go, go, um, Power Rangers. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm just so into, uh, I keep memories of the good things when I was a kid and the Power Rangers. I used to come home from school mm -hmm. and watch the Power Rangers, and they used to have motorcycles. Uh, their costumes used to amaze me. It was a pink okay. one, a yellow one, a blue one, a black one, okay. a red one, a red... <laughs> So I like motorcycles overall. Okay. Uh, I really enjoy them. I'm happy that you had a good time yeah. down at the uh, fat, the outcast, yeah. outcast yes. with yeah. the outcast. Yes. Uh, it seemed like you guys had a really good time. I'm happy mm -hmm. everybody. That's no problems. And I like to say this too for the ones that's um, traveling back home. Y'all know we we got uh, from California all the way from California. So I like to say this to uh, the brothers and sisters: please ride safely, man. You know we. We please and wear y'all helmets like keep your helmets on please because uh we had a little incident and just keep your helmet on <laughs> oh just keep your helmet on it wasn't scary but but let me let me say this. i can imagine if it was if we was going a hundred miles per hour yeah. and that happened so it's like keep them helmets on right. on them bikes because it's really not safe to 
rad with that one. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, that's important. The helmet is it's, it's, a, it's a little safety. It gives you a little cushion. Yes, we did. Yeah, we, me and her did have an incident. Yeah, well, I was coming from Rouge Park, and um, I picked her up, and we was riding, and we had an individual that wanted to clown around this car. But at the end of the day, she walked away without a scratch on her. Yeah, I sure did. And the bike weighed five times more than both of us. Okay, I was just like, oh, my God, I can't even believe that happened. But For me, her safety came <laughs> first, and then mine. Yes, it did. It so. did. I appreciate that. Um, you drivers have to watch the ones that's on the bikes. Mm -hmm. We don't have we don't have to watch ourselves because we are comfortable and want to put ourselves in danger to get hit by a car. But you drivers can't do what y'all do when y'all see people out here on motorcycles. Be cautious. All right. Be aware, care about the safety right. of the motor, the people that like motorcycles right. and like riding motorcycles. And nowadays, it's females yeah. that's hopping on these bikes and not be on the back of it. They the drivers of yes. the bike. Yes. And it's like, be careful. We are out here, too. We know y'all see us. You can't yes. help but to see a motorcycle. It's yes. loud. Yes. So it's like, be careful. Watch these individuals on a motorcycle and well the most important is is this here when, when um far as the people didn't the people is in cars we just asked you guys man when y'all driving and you see motorcycles put your phones down keep from texting because i didn't drove by numerous of people on the freeway on the streets and now they got their phone in their face like this here texting on the freeway and not all the time attention, you know so but as a as a as a, as a bike rider <coughs> we have to watch we have to watch ourselves and the other drivers also. But this experience this weekend, you know, you know, this, this it, it touched me because it showed me a family, a stronger family unity. When I say unity, it was a bond there. Even though I'm not a part of the outcast, I wear a supported shirt. So um, there was a bond there. It was like a family bond. I felt like I was at home. Really? That's a good thing. I, felt, I definitely felt like I was at home. So. That's a really good thing. I'm happy that you were comfortable and felt at home. You know, maybe it's just me. I have a problem with that. I can't go around people I don't know and uh, get comfortable and make myself feel at home. Well, or see, just, you probably couldn't do it, but they uh, could do it for you, though. If they, if they treated you like family and showed, and showed you good hospitality, I'm sure that you'd, you'd have been comfortable. Because I don't like being around a lot of people either, but I felt comfortable. I mean, when I say comfortable, I feel comfortable. Like yeah. I was at home in my with front me, room. With me, is, with me is different. It's always going to be different because I am not the type of person that's going to uh, trust anybody. And regardless if a person or people welcome me in and give me that family love, mm -hmm. I still second guess it okay because i can love but the only person i trust is god okay and that's just how it is for me because a human being can cross you at any given moment you're right about that you're right about that you know a human being will cross you for fame will cross you for money will cross you for materialistic things so when it comes to family you really have to make sure that your foundation is strong because the people that make you feel like family, welcome you in, get you comfortable, be the same people in the end that backstab you. Well, sometimes, not all the time, I'm just saying, be cautious, be aware, keep your guard up, pay attention because trusting people is not one of the what i do like i don't care who you are right like yeah you trust well what's that right uh, okay well let me talk to god about god should i no don't trust nobody but you okay well you got it i'll i only trust god but trusting a human it doesn't make sense to me yeah well if you if you say you believe in god and you're god's child then you should be the, us humans are your family so no. Yes. No. We are God's children, correct? Yeah, we are all God's children, meaning we're all God's children. Okay. That don't mean that we are family. Mm. 
Because if you claim to be one of God's child like I do, there's no way that you will cross the same person you say that's your family. Well, sometimes, sometimes that miseducation of that person allows them to do that, though. So you can't fault them for that. Who, who are we to judge? We got to forgive and move on. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. I didn't say I'm judging. I didn't say that don't forgive and move on. I'm saying be careful. Oh, okay. Right. For sure. That's, I'm that's saying be mean. careful because right. the same individuals that swear they love you, yeah. that swear they are, oh, I got you back, this, this, this. It would be the same people that crosses you. Right, right. That's why I just like, no, I don't trust nobody but God. Right. And I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I'll put everything in God's hand, and that's where it's going to be. But trusting another human being never works for me because in the end, what happens? Well, you're, all, you're always... You always end up disappointed in some type of way. Right. That's why I just learned to do everything on my own, right. never to, you know, trust anybody, never to trust God, but right. never right. to put my 100% trust in no human being. Except for yourself and God. Except for myself and God, because right. I am the only person that can mess me up at the end of the day. I can't sit back and trust another person and put my life in another person's hands right. and they screw me and right. then I be sitting there like, why did you do that? And I trusted you. Right. But in reality, no man or woman is before God. Exactly. So you always put your trust in God, not in a human being. And we are all still brothers and sisters, but I don't trust you. Okay. And that's, that's just how it goes for me. That's just, that's just, that's, that's just me. Well, I can say this. I can say this. Well, the past weekend for the three days, I trusted everybody that I was around, and didn't nobody cross me. So, and it was they treated me like I was family. Yeah, so, and you're and going on first impressions and, though. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even on the way here, I seen a few of the members that was in their vehicles, and they recognized me. And hey, that's that brother who was at the at the anniversary. Yeah, so. and that's all with with me. That's all it's gonna be. Hey, that's that brother or sister well, that was at like such I, like and I such. Yeah, hey, how you hey, right, how you right, doing? Right, well, and well, I well, keep like it I said, going. Like I said, I'm not I'm not a part and partial of the club. I was just explaining to you that how the, the the unity and the brotherhood and sisterhood how they treated me when I was in their circumference. They treated me like I was one of theirs. And that okay. was and that was over three thousand people that I don't even know. You know, people from Texas, California, Alabama, Mississippi, Missouri, Chicago, you name it. They was there. Nevada. Every, listen, I every mean, state cool. except that, for. That's cool. Except for Hawaii and Alaska was there. And they treated me like I was one of theirs. So that's, you know, I was just letting you know. I was, I was expressing to you about the unity and the family love that this organization has. That's all. <laughs> okay. Well, excuse me. Maybe I don't, uh, maybe I didn't been crossed too many times. Yeah. Because what I see in families, even other people's families that I have been around, family is not family. Hmm. Because if family was family, why do they do half the things that they do, then want forgiveness, and then, oh, we back cool, we're back family. So when you use the word family, mm -hmm. I only look at my kids. Okay. Period. Those are the only that's your, two that's your, individuals. That's, that's your immediate that's going, family. That's my immediate family, and that's right. going to love me unconditionally. Right. My kids. Right. Okay. So I don't walk around claiming people as my family. That's I don't walk around and try to fit in with people and their families. I don't really, I don't even like people claiming me. Because your love might not be real. Your love might not be genuine. Your mm -hmm. love might not be unconditional. Don't claim me because me, per I, I ain't even going to lie. I'm crazy. I'm a little, I'm, I'm. Well, I got well, uh, 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 uh. well, oh, well, well, to give it to them brothers and sisters because <laughs> they've been doing this for 50 years straight. That's and for, cool. And for, the, and for them to be together for 50 years straight and to be able to come together over 3,000 individuals in one spot with no problems. Hey, what? I mean, that's a really great movement to do something like that. You know, I didn't been in, I didn't been in concerts in, in the city of Detroit where people come down to a concert. Next thing you know, there's gun violence breaking out, shootings. There was none of this. Period. That's good. I got the whole I, I, entire weekend. And there was a lot of drinking and whatever <laughs> activities that they choose to do. 
but they did it in moderation and they kept it with respect. That's cool. That's what's up. So, that's good to hear. That's uh. It made it made the city of Detroit look real good. That's like good. That. That's that really they had good. Big, they had, but is it a? My whole thing is: is it an act? No, it's not an act. It's not an act for fifty years. Fifty people years. Can, if people got uh, careers they they've on, been if, in for if, that if, long. If, if, they, if, they, if they put on an act for fifty years and got away with it, they deserve to keep moving. Okay. Because I don't think I don't think it's an act. I don't feel it's an act. Oh, I, I, I seem genuine, genuine, and like I said, I've been around for a long time. People wear so lot. many masks, masks. Uh, you would think something is genuine and mm. real, and it might not be. That's all I'm saying. I'm not downing them for well, doing what they're doing for over 50 years. That's a good thing. That's a good organization. That's something good to do. Right. But with me, it's no just walking in and, th and okay, thinking like don't what take you're this part no, don't take I, this no, no no listen what you i'm not taking it personal i can't take it personal because this is my overall opinion i've been this way for years right. this is not nothing new right. so i can't take it personal because this is me this is how i am right. i don't trust the soul i don't care what you're throwing i right. don't care if you was doing it for 60 years right Trusting is something that I don't do. I'm happy that they do. Come, they came to Detroit. Right. I'm happy that they made the city of Detroit look good. That's yeah. a really good thing. Yes. But it made us look good as as a people. Okay, it made y'all look it good. Show, it show it show it show that uh, for one of those that call yourself black people, it showed that we can come together without no drama and problems. Okay. That many, that multitude. How many times you known in the city of Detroit where there was over 3,000 people that was a part of an organization came to this city and there was no drama, no problems for the whole entire weekend? Not that often. I don't really hear it that often. Okay, you guys, we got our first caller. Hold on. You're on Hi, air. Guys. You're okay, on air. I'm a little lost. What, what organization were you guys talking about came to Detroit? Well, it, uh, Outcast is already here. It's just that they, um, the rest of the club members came from all over the United States, from different states, from all the way from California to New York. They was all we was they was all here for the whole entire weekend. Oh wow! Yes, we was. Down. Okay, that's great. But I was calling to make a comment on what Miss Detroit was speaking on about family and trust and all that. I agree with her one hundred percent because. Like now in this millennium, family is not family anymore. It's like people on the streets are your family before your family. Like they are willing to help you and, and you know, be there for you sometimes before your family. So like that, that in 2019 going into 2020 has family ties and, and like back in the day type how family used to go and work it is not like that anymore okay well. it sure isn't because I uh mean, I can't speak for everybody <laughs> well, no, it's I, like, mean, I can definitely i can definitely agree with you on that all i was saying is that this organization showed what you call the old school family um hospitality to everybody and to themselves so you are correct you know family is not family no more like like it used to be because for one um, we are lacking education and unity. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, not, it's, it's, not these, to cut these, you off, it's, it's not, it's that not. They did that, but they need to come back more often of and, and help the city of Detroit of learn course. how to do that as well. Of course. And my whole thing is, why now? They've been doing it for 50 years. They've been right. doing it for, wait, they've been doing it for 50 years. And it's a lot of people that don't know who they are and don't know that they have been doing it for 50 years yeah. because I didn't know. And I was born in a race. Yeah, I was born and raised in either. Detroit. Yeah. I didn't know that they was even here. Right. Didn't know that they even did events right. and events was going on for 50 years. Yes. Right. But it's family oriented. Yes. Yes. It then is. why don't people know? Well, a lot of people, right. a, lot of, a lot of people don't ride motorcycles. A lot, you of people, don't a lot of people don't even like motorcycles. A lot of people, a lot of people don't even like being around motorcycle organizations. They had a bad experiences. It's, 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 it's a different reasons why. I can't sit here and tell you why they never, they just now find out about it or they never heard about it. I couldn't explain that to you. The only thing I can tell you is that the experience I had was beautiful. Okay? And my, my word carries a lot from, from people I know and about where I be around. You know what I'm saying? People know me. 
in the city of Detroit, outside the city of Detroit, outside of Michigan, period. And when I tell you I seen 100% unity with these brothers and sisters from all over the United States, it was something totally different that I have never experienced before in 46 years. That, okay, that, that's, that's really good. My experience was beautiful. So. But what I'm saying... And how often do they come? Um, I, you know what? I can find out for you. You know, one of them should call in. Okay, the number is 313-868-4336. If one of the members like to call in, call in and explain. The, the lady like to know. Yeah, I sure would. We sure would because we, we didn't even know that they came up here every year. They've been doing it for 50-something years. But this is supposed to be family. This is supposed to be unity. And, you know, my nickname is Miss Detroit, meaning I suppose well, where was – you should have known. Uh, no. Where where was y'all at? <laughs> like, uh, what? Like, where did y'all come from? Well, maybe you too busy. Right, not on this nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's not that I was too busy living my life. It's just that nobody they really knows. No, no, like that. I can tell you that. And so, when you want somebody. Okay. To well, guess what? You ladies know now. So, yeah, well, we know I'm now. Over. now. We and we got to what? What the next? Thing? When, when are they coming back? Next year? I don't know. We can find out. Somebody, should, one of them should call in anytime now. So they'll, they'll let you know when we want them to call in. But yes, I agree with you, caller. Uh, family is not the same. Uh, I don't even trust people when they say that speak on family and how they love their family and this, this, mm. and that. Because I have seen family do some things and it just be like, use your words. Like, y'all doing the most. Like, y'all got to do all that and y'all supposed to be family. So when it comes right. to when it comes to family, I know exactly what family is. I have children. I know exactly what family is. And half the things that family do is you're not family to me. Right. Don't speak yeah. to me. We don't got no convo. We don't got they, nothing they just, to They just blood relatives. They just blood relatives right. because I got people right. that's water that be right there. Did and my family how? sit back and watch you. Something very bad happen to you and won't make a move. That is true. That is so true. Have you ever asked yourself why? And my why? new saying for that I don't, will are be you, family is what you make it. Right. You family know, is what you family make is it. Family is not who you were born with. Right. Family is what you make it. But at the same time, I shouldn't have to sit back and ask myself, why? Family is love. Family is supposed to have unconditional love. So it's never a question on why. It is really to the other person. Why did you do that to your own family? Right. Now, it's nothing that I did. Why did you do it? Because family is supposed to be unconditional love, period. So it's no whys. It's no questions. Yeah, I understand. And that's just what it is. You're not family. I know exactly what family is, and that ain't it. You mean the conduct? The, the con, yes. And, and, and yeah. the certain things I'll be seeing with the, not just my family, but with other families. Uh-huh. No. Hmm. I didn't know, because it seemed like water is thicker than blood nowadays. Okay, we got yeah, our next crazy. caller. Hold on. You're on air. I'm on the air? Yes. Outcast, outcast, outcast. Hey. Okay, like, one of y'all like, called in. That sound like my brother Menace. Hey, brother Menace. What the deal is? Hey, bro, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, man. Man, I need some help. This sister attacking me, man, about family issues in the club, man. I need your help. I hope you've been hey, listening. Just, let, me tell you something. let me tell you something about this club life, right? This club life is serious, man. I can't, with, I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't see it. We, I don't see it. I don't know how you know. You, you know what? You should have been out there this weekend. And you'd have seen it. No, I ain't gonna, no, not this weekend. This whole last week just passed. You'd have seen it. Mm -mm. You'd have loved it. You, you'd have been trying to beat somebody's property that day. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if Ooh. I was uh, loose like that, maybe, but... Uh, it, I, I'll, 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 I'll do, I'll do, my brother, my brother, my brother, I don't do property, I don't do property, I'm no one's property, no one owns me, that's a no-no, but, the whole thing is, but, y'all got a misconcept of when it say property, all right, that's what it is, that's a misconcept, that's just how the club is ran, I understand so that, I, I understand that, but maybe you guys need to change that word because... No, we ain't changing 
Hey, 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 hey watch you your gotta mouth. watch your mouth. You gotta watch your mouth. Your and with the, hold on, wait. And with that being said, we have to go. Our time is run out. Uh, it, thanks for calling in and tune in next next Monday at 1:30. See you guys later. Bye, Detroit. Ooh.